Now don't let this title confuse you, okay? Because when I say three, I mean three out of 700. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And I had a very blessed and privileged childhood with wonderful parents. All right, now that that's out of the way, yo, straight up, that is screwed me the F up. I mean, in the end, aren't we all messed up in our own special way? Our own special way? <sighs> Not me. Here are three ways my childhood turned me into a weirdo. Number one, expiration dates. Here's the thing, right? Growing up, and even to be honest, currently, right now, my parents simply do not believe in expiration dates. My parents believe that if you wash your hair on Thursday, it's bad luck. My parents also believe that if you're leaving a house, but someone sneezes, that's a sign that you should not leave. But tiny dates on food that prevent you from getting sick? Hell nah, don't be ridiculous. Why am I so close to the camera? I'm like all up in your face, I'm like, hello. This is my video. Just back it up, Lily, back it up. If I just zoom out, it just say, like, no, I don't wanna F up the video though. You know what I mean? Ugh. Anyways, Frank, listen, just go to the skit, do the swipe thing. <laughs> okay, mom, what are you doing? I'm putting Ovaltine powder in milk. Why does it sound like you're building a house? It's just a little bit hard. Okay, that's probably because it's expired. Huh? Expired? No. No, when air hitting the powder, it gets a little bit hard. Well, okay, the air isn't Medusa, mom. Let me check the date. Huh? It's bloody brand new. Okay, this says it expired in 2015. What? No, 15 is a month. No, it says June 2015. That's more than a year. Oh, nothing happened in just one year, okay? It's expired. No. Yes, it is. No. Okay, this is not my opinion. Okay, this is a fact. Put the, these things just estimation, okay? Suggestion. Look, this is perfect now. And because of this, as an adult, I now too don't believe in expiration dates and I don't take them that seriously. To be honest, it's more of like a pride thing where I'm just like, yo, who the F is this bread to tell me what to do? Like, hold on, hold on, let me get this straight. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, I bring you into my home, I refrigerate you, and, and you're gonna give me orders? Don't make me cut you. You see what I did there with the bread and the cutting, because that's what you do anyways? <laughs> this is why I'm in the comedy section of YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe. Number two, sex or lack thereof. Now it's no secret that in Indian culture, the subject of sex is a little bit taboo. And to be honest, it shouldn't be because there is so many Indians in the world and clearly we're coming from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what? But because of that, growing up, I never got the talk. As a kid, everything I knew about sex came from school and rap music videos. So I was like, okay, boys have cooties. Also, girls eat a lot of lollipops. Okay. Oh, my ear just popped, god damn. And to be honest, even right now, if you ask me for like an accurate description of what happens during sex or like childbirth or like booby milk, I wouldn't be able to tell you. True story. When I was in grade school, I overheard some kids and they said the words jerking off and I was like, what the F? For the next whole year, I legitimately thought that boys could jerk off their penis, meaning they could like take it off detach it from their body with a jerk-like motion. I swear to you, I'm not making this up. I actually thought, oh my God, I was a moron. Cause that's not true, right? Well, well I mean, I still haven't had the talk. I, hold on, let me check Google. I was right, that's not how that works. I legitimately thought this was a thing. I thought men were walking around with their penises in their like briefcases and I had so many questions. I'm like, what if it pees in there? Also like, how do you keep it alive? If it's not, do you have to like water it? I was just so confused. Also, what if they forgot it somewhere where they're just like, oh, let me just jerk off my penis, leave it over here and then they forgot it. Is there like a find my penis functionality? Ah, uh, yeah. But you know, I found comfort in the fact that I wasn't the only idiot in my class. Yeah, my fellow brown friend, she was equally as confused as me. She she thought that masturbate was a synonym for master plan. Yeah. Listening to her organize anything was a lot of fun. Number three, respecting my elders. Now I'm all about respecting elders in the sense that if I was on a bus and an elderly woman came onto the bus, I would get up and give her my seat. However, I don't believe that we should respect 
everything someone says just because they're older. Because let's be real, being older doesn't make you a good person or a smart person. Growing up though, I had no choice because I was taught that age defines how much respect you should receive. So if you were older, you got more respect. And after age, it was sex. So if you were like 50 years old and a man whose penis was not in his briefcase, you're golden. So, how do you are Lily? I'm good. What grade you are now? I finished school six years ago. Hey, a grade six? <laughs> yep. Good, good. You know Preeti. Lily. Oi, shh, don't be rude, okay? <laughs> you know Preeti, my grandson, he always on computer using the Facebook. Cool. You know, first I was a little bit mad, but then I thought, look how many people using the Facebook because of him. I don't get it. He made the Facebook. He made the Facebook. He made the Facebook. Your grandson. Yes, he wrote the book. <sighs> no, he didn't. Yes, yes he did. And he also made the snapshot. Snapchat? And no, and no. Mm, yes, sorry, sorry, chat shot and the Facebook. No, no, he invented neither of those. Lily, show some respect, okay? What? But what she's saying is wrong. Whatever auntie say is correct, okay? okay. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, everybody in his homeschool class saying he genius. Wow. Wow, huh? Ooh, Dave, Dave, come here, come here. Okay. Sweetheart, tell everybody how you make the Facebook. Come on. I put in an email address and a password. Amazing, bloody amazing. Lil, you should try like this sometime, huh? I'll try. Good job, son. Look at you making us all very proud. Thank you. <laughs> Mmm, yeah. Nice to meet you, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Who? enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I actually mean that like actually give it a thumbs up if you liked it because I want to know if this was a good video or a bad video or should I make more videos like this or just delete my channel I want to know give it a thumbs up also if you want to check out my vlogs they're right over there that is my second channel and I do it on a daily basis so check that out my last video is right over there so go ahead and click it like it's hot other than that if you want to pre-order my book the one that was featured in this video for a, a little quick second that promo though you can do so by clicking the link in the description there's also an I in the corner of your screen if you click that, it'll take you to my pre-order page. Just go check it out. Go check it out, and if you don't like it, close it. That simple. Other than that, you can subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I'd love for you to be here. Well, I hope you had a great day. One well, love, Superwoman. That is a wrap, and zoop. No, you know what bloody happened? Let me tell you, okay? You just moved to LA and you become too modern, okay? Expiry date, huh? Get out of here. Go drink your latte, huh?